all right guys well i'm just gonna deal with a big hair today so so today i was gonna do my regular lives reading on twitch today's sunday it is 12 o'clock and i guess you guys will see this later on today i'm gonna post it right after i just looked up i'm having a birthday weekend in blue bridge it's so beautiful here oh my gosh so this is the last day that we'll have a full day and i thought i can't just not do a reading for you guys one of my best friends got me a brand new deck I have here the hip, the, um, what is this? Hip Chick Tarot. Um, I really like this deck more so because I feel like it's, it shows more of like my personality. And you guys will see today, like it's a very diverse deck and I really wanted to start having readings that resonate with me and not only that but just seeing myself in my cards and I feel like there are a lot of people that um that want to experience tarot but all they see are like they don't often see minority uh readers and then when they do they have they don't have cards that necessarily resonate with um with the audience Y'all, there is like bees every freaking way, you know. I'm trying to be like, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to be still, but you know, I'm, I'm afraid. Okay. And then you guys already know that I have the Everyday Witch Tarot, like tarot cards. And then I got the Everyday Witch Tarot Oracle. It's not for my birthday, y'all. My best friend, Jackie. Yo, the bees are out here today, and one of the tarot readers I watch, she's always like, when she sees a bee, she's like, I think, is, it, is it Oshun? Oshun? She's like, Oshun is out. <laughs> oh, don't get me around that, but look at this. This shit is fucking beautiful. This is going to be my first time reading with the cards, so bear with me, because this deck has, like, some very different, like, symbolism. I'm going to do my best to keep up with it, but I'm going to also use some of the decks that I already know to kind of get things going. Um, so this is the week of the 15th, which is my birthday. I'm super excited. And um, we're just going to get some readings from there. Like, share, subscribe to this video if you're watching on Instagram. I think I'm going to post this one on Instagram TV just so you guys can get the reading for the week because there is absolutely no service out here in the dirt road sticks of Mineral Bluff, apparently. Um, so yeah, I lost my hair tie. <laughs> but it's beautiful out here and how can I not do a reading with you guys, so... I am going to try to see what this week overall is going to be about. And I'm going to pull some oracle cards from the, look at this size difference. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to put up a deck review on my YouTube channel. So if you guys are with it, just be aware that, you know, this, um, okay. Just be aware that, you know, this happens. I moved over here because I was, like, trying to shuffle. <laughs> um, I moved over here because I was, like, there's, you know, there's more sun. There's more of a view. And then there's just all these little flying things everywhere. Like, do they want to talk to you guys or what? So, okay. So, that car looks like it wants to come out, but... Lauren, Lauren likes to get definite answers. So what do we need to know? What is the overview of this week of the 25th? So is that the 25th through the 20? The, oh, no, no, 5th. Okay, yes. The 15th as opposed to the 21st, right? Because 21st is Sunday. So that's my daughter's birthday, so cool. All right, so the 15th through the 21st. Why are some of these cards upright and the other ones aren't? So weird. 
you guys. So I have not recorded the thing yet, but I thought it'd be cool while I was still here in the mountains today to get a couple of cool videos for you guys. And, um, you know, I'll just get some B-roll and stuff and maybe you will get the extra readings that I do out here because my dog, I wanted to go live and show you guys the beautiful scenery, but this shit is not what it, not, it's not it, okay? So, let's go with, I'll get one from the Everyday Witch Tarot and then we'll go with my favorite Doreen Virtues Goddess Oracle and after that we'll, you know, we'll mix it up. We will clarify with the everyday witch tarot and we'll do the hip chick tarot. And if like there's just something that's just not coming through all the way, I have my um, wild unknown tarot. I almost never use this deck, but I love it because like when I do need it in a pinch, like it comes through pretty well, just like the... Um, the witch's tarot like it's me. okay so what is going on for the overview of this week all right i'll take another one what is going on with this week is there any information that we need to know yeah, I keep seeing this same card. It's like the lady that's on the front of this deck. And it's like she wants to come through so bad. But I'm not sure if the energy is strong here for her card. You know what I mean? to know all right guys so i don't know what happened like there was a lot of energy and stuff okay so i'm asking my guys to be with me give me all the juicy details honey i'm just doing things all backwards because i am super excited this week hey it's my freaking birthday i think i'm gonna take the next one from from this just so we can get an answer be on with it. Okay. Here we go. So it'll probably be like this. All right. So we have meditating for clarity. We have prayers and wishes. And then from the goddess tarot, it's don't beg down. Believe in what you know is right. I think, you know, that might be what a lot of you are experiencing. Considering what's going on right now, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Divine passion. Let's see if you guys can read that. So it says, be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? And then the sorceress. So this one is, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, but I want to get an idea of what the situation is. So I'm going to sit with these for a second and just try to figure out like what's going on. So when I pull the other cards, I can give you guys like a more succinct answer. I also wanted to look in this guidebook because like, bro, why not? Like, I mean, it is an oracle deck, so you kind of have to. I know most of the meanings for the, the goddess oracle. I mean, they're kind of straightforward, I believe. So, yeah. So we're on, I saw wishes and prayers. And then meditation for clarity. I can, okay, so I found it. Okay, and then we're gonna do prayers and wishes. I really only need like kind of like the general idea of 
what they, you know, what they wanted the card to mean. So I like to have like the card idea in my kind of subconscious. Okay. That was kind of like straightforward, I'll be honest. But all right, so for for at least for the situation right now, what I'm seeing is that you know, a lot of you feel super confused. I can understand that, especially like all the stuff that's been going on with Black Lives Matter, um just being able to get justice, all the protesting and stuff like that. And I feel like you know, there are people who really care about this movement and there are people that don't that are just there to get a rise out of people to take advantage of the world and the situation of both social and economic um, really collapse and reforming into something new. And we're changing a lot of our values as a country and our values as, you know, as a society, both in in like our immediate area, our immediate country, and as well as the world, people all around the world are taking a stand for something. And I think for some of you, this card is saying that you may not know exactly how you feel about what's going on, what um, what's going on in your life right now. And more importantly, like where do you fit in um, into these greater world views that we have like what what do you want to see when you look into the mirror what is the reflection that you want to show based on who you are and what you like to do if you like the way that I see it is like there are a lot of people who who just live their everyday life but they want their life to mean something they want their life to take them somewhere that it wasn't able to take before or they're going in a direction where when they look in the mirror in the morning, sorry guys, I helped make breakfast and they're still making it. Um, but this is like a biscuit flour. So um, this is really just saying like, get everything, get yourself to a point of clarity where you can look yourself in the mirror. You can look at your reflection and you can be proud of who you are and what you're growing into. Versus someone who is constantly seeking um, change in an unhealthy way or constantly just you're you're not happy with what you see, but you're not actually willing to change and go about that change. And then it's talking about your wishes and prayers, which I feel like is really cool because you got pale of divine passion. And I think these two cards go together in saying that. You know, you have wishes, you have prayers, you have things that you want to see change. And um, and it's just not happening um, because you're not putting enough energy. Just like this one. I What is this? Uh, Rana, Rananon, right? She's saying that you can manifest anything you want to bring into reality based on clear intentions, which is happening here. You need to get clear about what you want to bring into your life. What do you want to see in the world society? What do you want to see amongst yourself change for the better? You know, a lot of people are going through hardships at this time, and we're really trying to um, get to a certain point where we feel comfortable, like really like leaning in, like we feel comfortable doing what we need to do. And it's okay to be in discomfort to bring our intuitions into fruition. Oh, my lip is dry. So then we have Bridget and Bridget is saying, don't back down. I think some of us really want to do something right now in the world. And it's like, okay, yeah, you were a little bit lost and confused. You have a general idea of what it is that you want to do, what it is that you want to see. But I think hearing all these hopes and hearing all of these wishes that people want out here, whether that's for a particular movement or it's for your life and you're really looking around and saying, how can I fulfill myself uh, in this situation? How can I get myself to a point where I feel 
com I feel comfortable enough because we're never going to feel too comfortable without making someone else feel uncomfortable. But we can be in a state of contentment. We can be in a state of repair. And I think that is really where this comes in. Shit isn't going to be easy, guys. Nothing's going to be easy. But it's telling you, don't give up. Don't back down. Maybe there's some stuff that's going to happen this coming week that will make you feel like maybe I should just chill. Maybe I should just sit down. Maybe I shouldn't go protest. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't try to open my business now that corona is doing all this stuff but now is the perfect time to get things in you know to get things in your imagination to get things in your rotation of what you want to bring with that divine energy that you have that you have you have the ability to have the intent and um and to fuel that intention into your reality to make it something that you can actually do like it's nothing that's unfeasible like you they're saying like yo if you even just read right here don't back down sorceress like you have divine passion and i think right now at the beginning of the week you're really going to see like okay this is where i'm at and where do i want to go from here what can i do with my personal thoughts with my personal skills how can i make a difference based based in my particular um situation so i'm going to draw some more tarot cards just so i can get an idea of what the actual situation is in more detail but i did want to kind of adjust the overall especially right now like we have so much protesting going on, so much stuff. And I want to say for the people that do see this, like um, for the people that do see this and you are one of those people who protest, I take my hat off to you, my friend, because like, you know, I'm black too. I have, I have a child and it means the world to me that people are willing to stand up and to, um, willing to stand up for what they believe in even against all odds and um and and really make a difference okay so i'm gonna flip these cards over in a second but i like to have i like to see them kind of like all at once except this one this one wanted to say hello just so i can get an idea of what's happening here okay so, and then give me what is going to be the ending of all of this um, at the at the end of the week. Okay, okay. So here we go, guys. So the first card is I pulled six. Usually I only pull five for for it, but I feel like let's just go ahead. We're always we're already eighteen minutes in. So this right here is Knight of Cups, right? We have our Knight of Cups. And he has like all of this love that he is bringing to something. And what you can see down here is that it's not, it doesn't come with any, with um, no added risk. He is willing to risk himself and express his love but it's a bit naive the way that he's doing it if you can tell his cape just looks like kind of like a child's binky wrapped around um you know tied around his neck and to me that makes me feel like whatever this thing is that you feel like you need to get clarity on you have been going about it in a very naive fashion you have not really been seeing um the complete repercussions of what you've been doing um you haven't been like you've been oblivious to the elephant in the room even though you have all these great intentions and it's going out and it's actually making a difference but there's also an underlining thing that is kind of um there's like influx of like of you doing it like cause versus effect because this shark right here is just basically praying on his downfall praying on that knight's downfall like 
you know, if you just slip up a little bit, he's already riding with one hand and his cup out. And his cat is barely on the, the broom. Um, so his cat could fall into the water at any time. And that's just saying like, you're very focused, but you're naively focused and you're not able to see everything that is around you. But then we also have judgment. And to me, this judgment card feels like I create, I like the judgment of others is not necessarily what matters, but the judgment of which I put on, I put upon myself on the path that I take. And sometimes, you know, we really, we're really in a, in a state where we want to, um, we want to like really control ourselves. We really want to, um, we want to impress people. And for me, like when I see the judgment card in this deck in particular, I feel like, I feel like she's saying like, march to the beat of your own drum. And the only person that can put judgment on you is you and the, the divine that you believe in. And, um, and no one else should be dictating that path, you know, like this, this butterfly here is like a symbol of change, recreation. And, um, and it's just making me the music and the way that it flows. Like, yes, her music is of, of past because it's flowing back from wh where she came. So she is taking this, this piece of music and she is playing it toward the future, but she's also moving forward. She's also making, you know, following the change. And I think that, you know, all of these, all of the, both of these cards are going in the same direction. I think once you get clear about what you're doing and once you're able to see the negative things that are going on um, as it pertains to the Knight of Cups, like what are you missing? And then once you figure out what you're missing, you'll be on stable enough ground to keep marching forward and actually to see a concrete change. Because like we said before, we're, we're not backing down and we have prayers and wishes and we need to form these prayers and wishes into a succinct and sustained intention. And we need to put forth that passion with behind that intention to bring it to fruition um that was not on purpose but cool <laughs> right so then we have our four of pentacles and to me four of pentacles is all about uh retraction um you are trying to keep all of these ideas or more specifically your your valuable ideas more specifically your valuable funds um you're trying to keep them under wraps maybe you know, like you're having a lot of things going on, or maybe you lost your job recently, but you're just kind of like, you know what, I'm gonna just sit on my funds for right now. And there, it's something that I've been saying to my friends, like, I feel like in this time right now, we don't really have the wherewithal to not purchase, you know what I mean? But it's just like, I feel like that's a good way to protest, like with your dollars. But I feel like this one is more of a, well, yeah, it's like the energy of stinginess. Like I'm gonna get mines before anybody else. I'm gonna get mines before I'm gonna help anybody else type of mentality. But at the same time, you're so focused on keeping these ideas, these treasures, um, this physical cash close to you that you're actually missing out on parts of your life. You're not really seeing what's going on around you. And that, and t that pretty much is going to make you, um, that's going to pull you out of the loop. And I feel like at this time, like, I don't know, cards are like, these cards are kind of like touching on each other, but I feel like these two cards, this, it, this card is close to the middle. It's like right up under this card. Um, right between these two oracle cards here. And it just feels like, okay, like this is what I want. But I'm standing against what I want so that I don't lose anything. But this one is telling you, don't worry about that. Don't worry about 
don't worry about um getting too deeply into being so tight lipped so so um so fisted in how you how you move you need to be calculated um especially if you are on a budget or if you're trying to uh create something for for yourself you want to make sure that you're comfortable um with how you move forward but that doesn't mean that you should back down that doesn't mean that you should be afraid of what you're doing and then i also see the nine of pentacles so you already have been reaping some reward from putting in these intentions and you kind of need to take some time to kind of step away from whatever this stuff that is ailing you I want to get some clarifications on this, but step back from this stuff. And then at seven, you have the seven of swords. Um, I feel like this, I don't know, I, like the way that I thought about it, I feel like this is more like knowledge, like knowledge taking, knowledge seeking. Like it's almost like you are acquiring a knowledge that is forbidden or you're acquir acquiring something that you necessarily don't want others to know about or you will like say like you know someone who has a particular book or knows about a particular information and instead of asking directly you're kind of going in a roundabout way to get that information um maybe that information has something to do with how you move forward like all a lot of these cars are moving in the same direction um so it's just kind of interesting like we have hold on let me get them in order guys so we have you coming through this way becoming more mature and you're still facing forward here and you're just facing forward not wanting to lose anything and i think this time right here like being able to meet this reflection meet this reflection and really sit in it like how do i want to see myself do i want to close myself inside and do i want to worry about mundane things or should i just be relaxing at this time rejuvenating myself so that i can continue to move forward i'm gonna get these cards together so the last card is the ace of swords and i don't know if anyone else has noticed but these cards are practically the same and they're still facing all of these cards are facing the same direction like you are being pulled toward this this thing whatever it is and it is it is relentless against you and there's no way that you don't have the energy there's no way that you don't have the wherewithal there's no way for you not to feel empowered and being able to take action on this thing take that max of action you know like the swords is all about being physical what is going on a, on a physical and a mental a strategic level and i feel like during this week you're gonna go from having a very simplistic a very um advantageous and uh and naive mindset about whatever this topic is like you are you're starting out very naive and you kind of get to your bearings pretty quickly earlier in the week i don't know if it's going to be like there's a weakness in whatever your thought process was and that's the reason why you kind of have to sit in that clarity um so we're going to clarify with my new deck and i just want to know what is going on with this situation like who what who is the knight of cups and well i feel like it's you guys but who is the knight of cups and who is this love for like give me something for the knight of cups like these cards don't quite have my energy yet but i feel like all right all right and i'm gonna grab that one give me a card for the judgment card i said a this is like a bunch let's be more specific please 
tell me more about it. I'm kind of sad that I couldn't do the live because I was I was like super lit about it. Um, I just really like to see live because I feel like the people who watch live when they do, they really get a lot from it. And um, I try to make sure that I'm like seeing the comments and stuff. So if anyone needs like clarification right then and there, I can like get more card clarification. I think it's cool when you do live because more people are able to influence the reading and um, and how it comes off as a finished product for those who haven't seen it, which is pretty cool. It's like you're making the video with me, you know, with that energy. I don't know. These cards are kind of still sticking together. We'll see if we can get another one to drop. Give me some clarification on the judgment card. I'll take it. I'll take it, guys. I'm gonna... Oh, I had got two cards for the one before it, so we're gonna talk about these two. Y'all, my shorts just keep running up. Okay, so this Knight of Cups, we got the moon and the sun. So, it's very weird that you got the moon and the sun, but I feel like this is talking something about balance. Um... Maybe you are in a transitional phase because if you look at this car here, the sun is around the corner. Like you are in a, such a place where sunrise is uh, upon you, but it's not quite here yet. And there are lots of scary and creepy crawly things. And and it's a lot of, un, um, what, it, what is it? unsurety unsecurity about about what things are happening here you feel very insecure about the situation like what i like about the moon is that there's hope like you are vulnerable like this this person is vulnerable they're vulnerable to all kinds of dangers they have no protection they're completely naked and then you know they have the sun so we know that the sun is coming and all you have to do is survive this certain amount of time before the sun arrives. And I think that this right here, this sun card is telling you that sunrise is closer than you think. Um, but it also tells me that you may have been possibly in a like mentally in a negative situation. Maybe um, maybe a depressive situation, or maybe it's just been like a lot going on and a lot of these things are affecting you in a way that you weren't expecting. And you've really just been trying to keep a good face. Um, you've been really trying to save face and just pretending like you are already in the sun, even though you are a mass in a, in a darkness of insecurity about how things are going to move forward. Um, but it seems like, you know, this, this reading is really letting you know that it's inevitable. Whatever this thing is that's happening, whatever this situation that you're going through, this situation is not something that could have been avoided. This situation is not something or um, these events are not something that could have been avoided or could have been changed in any way. These situations are happening for a reason and um, they are change that will ultimately lead us to uh, more happiness, more security, more, um, more of a... Uh, a reflection of our true self and not so much a reflection on um on our darknesses on our shadows on you know these are all darkness shadows these are all things that we need to do um to work in our shadows and figure out like what is bothering us how we can you know get through our traumas how we can solve through our own emotional wherewithal 
but this is also saying like doing all of the work ultimately will lead you to happiness and you have nowhere else to go but forward and with that i'm gonna move to the judgment card and we got the nine of create and the six of think it almost makes me feel like like gemini cut like virgo type energy um because it's like super creative but then like you're stuck in your head about it and i think when you're meditating for clarity this is where you are but you know you're trying to figure out how you can move forward which is hilarious because look at the judgment card look we are we are on a move we're on a path of ideas and the fact that the sun is behind it even though the sun is on a partly cloudy day baby the sun is still shining upon you greatness is still shining on you um i feel like whatever this is it's about creativity it's about you moving you traveling you creating a way for you to really become your true self i want to see so what else can you give us about the four of pentacles because now i feel like you know oh this bound card like did not want to come out but it kind of like like got stuck to my hand so i'll let it come out and then let's see do we have any more cards for the four of pentacles Give me clarification on the Four of Pentacles. Ooh. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, these cards are freshly out the box. Like, I just got them yesterday. So, they're still kind of, like, sticky. Like, I like to... I like to bend my cards. I know it's, like, so bad, but... I like to bend my cards so that they will separate. And they start to um feel independent in themselves all right so we got some cards here oh yes i'm trying to hurry up because everyone's like about to eat breakfast okay oh wow so we have justice in the high priestess again so this is <laughs> hilarious okay so then we have justice and the high priestess which I find funny because the high priestess is, justice is sitting. Are we having a conversation with someone to create some type of justice for ourselves? And we're using our intuitive abilities to make that happen. Which also, I feel like, is a conversation. Um, these cards are facing each other. So I feel like in order for you to come into the right of this justice card you're gonna have to have a conversation i don't know if you're in a relationship with someone and maybe you know like you might be um handling a lot of the financial responsibility um because i see like there's a wilted heart and then there's like a fresh like cut rose and then we have the balance we're sitting down and we're thinking about it. This person here is completely like wanting to block this person out. They're very upset because they feel like they're consistently having to put out, but nothing's being put back in. And we need to balance those scales. I also had got this card bound that came out that wanted to come out. So maybe this person feels like they're stuck with you. Like they can't get out of this situation. They keep trying, but they just... No matter how much they try, they feel bound to you or you feel bound to the situation. And it's not a good feeling because you feel like you're stuck there. You feel like you can't move forward um, into your intuition, into your own power and being able to reap those fruitful benefits and find your own kind of peace. And I feel like really what that comes down to is you have to stop being, if you're the person that's feeling bound, you have to stop being such, um, honestly, a pussy. Like, don't back down. Don't back down. Like, you are bound, but you are not without power. You can get out. You know what I mean? Like, her hands are not secured. She's just wrapped around this thing. She could easily unwrap herself. She could easily shimmy that thing on off. Like, it's more so 
she feel this this person feels like they deserve whatever they their this situation is they feel like they deserve it but you don't deserve it and that's the only reason why you're not able to really get out of it maybe even if you keep telling yourself that you don't deserve it and you need to get out of this situation you still don't uh make the make the um you still don't make it to where you should y'all i keep feeling like something is touching me okay sorry y'all i'll just hear and this one is right above these two cards. These um, two cards don't back down. So I feel like maybe some of you possibly could be in a abusive relationship. Maybe some of you can be in, maybe some of you are feeling these, um, these energies that be, you guys are feeling all of these energies that be that, that are really taking a turn right now. Um, and, and it's affecting you in, in the worst way. But you're trying to creatively get out of it and move to something that's really going to put you where you want to be. Um, I feel like you need to start listening to your intuition. Spirit is trying to tell you something. And, you know, I, I would say this. Watch what you say to yourself. Um, spirit, spirit is a very divine being and does not know hate and does not know anguish but spirit knows that you are of itself you know what i mean like even when you're thinking about like um when people say like god is all forgiving god is all forgiving because god is always forgiving of himself of itself like you are a part of God, which means you have the power to create. You have the power to destroy. And what you have to figure out is how can I align myself with the divine in such a way that I can find the peace that I was given, your natural born right to have peace. And really, this to me, this whole image is not inviting you inside like hey come inside this is you stepping out of this darkness of the moon this is you coming into your own fruition this is you saying hey i don't need all the extra i am connected i am divinely protected and i'm going to grab what i need i'm going to get the information that i need in order to manifest and ride my own wave, ride my own intention with my own divine passion to, you know, to this place, to me taking massive action, to me creating that energy where I can, you know, get to where I want to be. And I'm, I'm really feeling like this entire reading is really just saying like, don't be afraid of those thoughts in the back of your mind. This reading is saying, don't be afraid of any of that. Don't be afraid to stand up for what you believe. Don't be afraid to acquire the information that is needed. Don't be afraid to acquire the information that is needed um, to get to where you want to be. First, the thing that is most important is that you get clear on the intentions and the things that you really want in life. Um, get clear on the path. You know, all these little ideas. Get clear on the path you want to take and pick it. Ride with it. Don't be afraid. You know, don't be afraid to stand up for what you believe. If that means you have to sit down and have a conversation, even if that conversation is with yourself. Hey, I want to do A, B, and C, but I don't have enough money. Okay, well, we need to do A, B, C, D to get to that location. Or it's like, hey, I want to open a business, but the economy is going to shit. Should I really invest in that? Well, you need to become well-informed. You need to get the information that you need in order to figure out how you can put these intentions and these impressions that the divine has sent you. Because the divine knows who you are. The divine knows what you deserve. Um... And it wants to shower you. It wants to shower you 
in the passion. It wants to shower you into your divine right, into your divine gift. I think a lot of people right now want to do something and they want to show their authentic self. They don't want to keep wearing that mask that makes everything look perfect. They want to be human and they want to show other humans that it's okay to be themselves and it's okay to be different and it's okay to step into your own right even if it's something that is not um even though it's not something that is um super upfront in society right now we are in the middle of a societal change this is the first time in a long time where we're able to stand not only as a people or as um as a country or as a world of people who care about people's equality who care about how people have been treated how people have been um wrongly accused and killed and people's parents are are hurting people's families are hurting people who see their faces um and relate to that could have been me situation um we're, we're tired of seeing a lot of things and we're tired of of watching things um idly uh go by us and we want to take action and i feel like there's always a way for you to take action if there's always a way for you to move forward and the first thing is you need to get out of your head and you need to get into the action and I think the first thing that the very first thing before you take any action is to get clear about what your intentions are, to get clear about what do you want to see um, for not only yourself in this this week, but also for future generations. And I encourage everyone, if you um, even though I know that this is not what this reading is about, I feel like because the underlying issue is that we are going through a social global change of how we um how we function as a society how we function as a human race how we how our society and our um and also our personalized uh immediate family groups and thought forms work and how are we changing that to make the world a better place for people um for everyone and not just some people um, I feel like a lot of people are attempting their best to make change. And I think the people who feel like it doesn't necessarily resonate with them, I'll say that if you don't do it for yourself, um, do it for the generations that come after you. Um, there's a lot of things that I personally feel like I would love to do and just considering all of the things that are happening i i know that i can't go out and protest the way that i would like to um because i don't know what's going to happen and i can only do what i know that i can do i can get on here i can encourage people i can talk to you guys i can give readings that that matter that help turn the pivoting point um, I can open my mouth and I can say something and I can tell my story and I can encourage my friends, my followers, my viewers um, to, to do what's right, to push forward and um, to empower you guys to become the people, to become your true self. And that's really what my channel is about. And I really hope, you know, that you guys keep coming back to get this power, to let me pour life energy into you guys to move forward week by week. Um, I am going to be streaming live every Sunday at 12 o'clock. And sometimes I'm a little bit late, but no later than 1230. Um, I'm gonna try to start doing more uh, lives on Instagram. So if you guys want to see that, follow me on Instagram at underscore live like low underscore. And um, Follow me on Twitch at Live Like Low and YouTube at Live Like Low. And I hope to see you guys soon. I'm going to have more tarot reading videos coming out on my YouTube channel. And um, 
and I'm going to have some podcast episodes up soon too. And that is at Healing Roots Podcast. So um, I'll have that information for you guys later on this week and my next live. You guys be, be well. Have a great Father's Day. Um, enjoy life. Enjoy the scenery. I'm going to give you guys a shot of this beautiful view that I'm looking at um, of the Blue Ridge Mountains. And I will see you guys on the next one.